Hey y'all, for those of you who are new here, I am Shannon Wells, a life and business coach for Christians, and I equip them with the tools they need to take their power back. So the last time I spoke, uh, spoke to you guys, I was talking to you guys about how, well really I was just sharing with you all what the enemy is doing in this season, or the strategy really that he's using in this season, specifically against the body of Christ, because he knows that his time is short. And so I was, I actually got that word from the Lord. I was seeking the Lord and I was asking him, you know, like what specifically is the enemy doing in this season? He had begun to show me that the enemy was using distractions, chaos, and confusion. And I wanted to share, I wanted to expound on that a little bit more. I wanted to share with you guys a little bit more on what I mean by, by chaos, because I was seeking the Lord more on that um, to share with you more. And so what I, what I mean by chaos is, if you are feeling overwhelmed, if the enemy can get you to a place mentally where you're feeling overwhelmed, and he will do this in many different ways, whether he's throwing different physical activities at you for you to do to just keep yourself busy, um, to cause chaos right in your life, your, your life physically around you, or to just throw different ideas in your mind or stressful thoughts, right? Or things that are just giving you anxiety, making you anxious, fearful, things that are just attacking the mind, right? If you can then throw these things at your mind, you can become into you can get into a state where you're overwhelmed. And once you're overwhelmed, then your focus quickly diverts from God, from what God said he was going to do, from what God is doing in your life right now, from where God wants to take you. Your focus quickly diverts from that onto the problem, onto the chaos, onto the things that's boggling your mind down, onto the things that is uh, happening in your life around you. If he can get you in a chaotic state, then overwhelm will seep in. And the second you begin to be overwhelmed, your focus diverts off of God onto the problem that you're experiencing because he wants you focused on the problem and not the problem solver. And I was seeking God on this and he, he began to show me in the spirit how the enemy is using chaos so that overwhelm can seep in. Once you begin to get overwhelmed, then you start thinking uh, that God, your faith starts wavering. Then you start thinking that maybe God isn't going to do what he said he was going to do. Maybe God isn't moving in your life in this season, or maybe God's not doing anything in your life in this season, even if it's mundane, right? Or maybe you're just not thinking about what God is doing, period, because your mind and your life is uh, filled with things of chaos, right? The goal is to get you uh, not focusing on God and focused on the problem. And I need you guys to hear me so clearly when I say this, the enemy is attacking, he's after your relationship and your fellowship with God. He's after your relationship and your fellowship with with God more than ever in this season um, because he knows that his time is short and I need you guys to pay attention to this right I wanted to expound on this a little bit more on what I mean by chaos and uh, distractions and confusion in this hour really pay attention to um, why are you overwhelmed are you overwhelmed by thoughts that don't matter are you overwhelmed by things that hold no real real value or purpose because I need you to understand this when I say this that overwhelm is the product of chaos and it doesn't have to be physical chaos around you but chaos in your mind right if you're overwhelmed look around you and determine what is in chaos right because we know that god isn't the author of the uh, author of confusion the enemy is and where there's confusion there's chaos right where there's confusion and chaos there's double-mindedness right think about these things assess your life and determine where where does the enemy have his hand at in your life is it certain relationships that you're um, entertaining right is it certain and things that you're watching on TV? Is it certain places and experiences that you're spending your time in where God didn't tell you to spend your time, right? Are you hanging out with certain people that God didn't tell you to hang out with? What? Are, where does the enemy have his hand in in your life? And I did a video on open doors and I talked a little bit about this. Go back and watch that. Where are the open doors in your life where the enemy has access to where you need to actually go and shut those doors? Because once you begin to shut those doors, then your focus, you'll begin to have tunnel vision. Then your focus will be 
only on God. I also did a video a couple months ago and I was sharing with you guys how when you're on your way to the promised land, when you're on your way to where God wants you to be, there's many different tunnels, there's many different paths accessible to you. And these other paths, right, that are accessible to you that are that is not God's path, it may seem right, it may seem like you're supposed to be doing this activity. It may seem like you're supposed to be thinking about this thing, right? Um, but it's not what God wants you to do right now. God says, take no um, thought for what you will eat or wear or these things, right? Don't think about the past or don't think about the future. God is with you in the now. He's with you in the present moment. If you're thinking about all of these things, then your faith is wavering. You have no faith in what God said he's going to do. You have no faith that he's going to take care of you in the future. So the enemy wants your mind thinking about all of these different theories of what could or could not happen in the future or what could have happened in the past, which you can't go back and change, right? But God is in your now and he's si simultaneously guiding you into your future. But the enemy wants your mind in constant chaos because then you'd be overwhelmed and you constantly be focused on how can you fix this problem of what's going on right now, not knowing and not caring that God says, don't worry about that because he's got it, right? If God allow you to wake up and breathe another day, that means that he's guiding you through this day he has a purpose for you in this day every second of the day the enemy doesn't want you thinking about that he wants your mind on the problem not the problem solver i want you guys to really begin to assess your life god has been speaking to me so heavily on this lately and determine where are the open doors where are the other pathways that's not the path that god laid out for you but the path of the enemy laid out for you right Really think about this and determine where are the open doors and shut those doors in your life so that you're back on the straight and narrow path.